Today I'm going to show you how to fix music tags using Music Brains Picard. I will also use MP3 tag in one of the versions just to help ordering the genres. So before we do anything, we need to do four things. We need to make a copy of your music, download and install Music Brains, download and add the genre plugin because it doesn't have the ability to add genres and then finally edit the file naming option so let's do number one first let's copy the music now I've already done this all you need to do is make sure wherever you put the music that you right click the folder click copy and then anywhere on here you just click paste and as you can see I've already pasted a version or a copy version of the mp3 files so I'm going to use these files here and move them into this fixed folder so once they get fixed they'll all go here now I just want to add a special note that just before we go on to the next part I want to make sure that you can see all these tags. Go to view and click on details. Now you may have it on list, which is why you can't see any tags. Make sure you click on view and go to the layout section and click details. That way you'll be able to see the details that we are going to work on for all of this. Second, we need to download and install Music Brains. Here we are at the address there. I'll put the link down below. Simply click Download Picard, Save, and once it's saved, go to your download folder and install. Just click Next. I agree. Next install and that's all you need to do just takes a few seconds and we're finished and we can run the music brand Picard so let's finish and there you have our interface but let's just do the other part let's download and add the genre plugin because we are going to need it for that you need to go to this address which I'll put a link down below go down the page until you see the release word here go to the release page again scroll down and download the source code the zip file source code. I'm going to save that as well. And that is also in the downloads folder. We'll come to that later. Next, we're going to open up the Music Brains Picard and edit the filing name option. So we have open our Music Brains. In this part, we're going to focus more on setting up the surface. You'll notice in options that rename and move files is empty. We need to fix this. The best way is to go to options, click down to file naming and say move files when saving. This really helps, especially if you're renaming the files because sometimes they won't rename unless they are moved and also I click delete empty directories leave that another thing you need to tick is rename files when saving like I said sometimes we need to rename the titles and they won't do that unless you do this now you just need to pick a new folder so if I browse this is where I'm going to rip the CDs from and I'm going to put them in the Music Brains Fixed folder. So I'll just click that, select folder, and there you can see 
Music Brains Fix CD folder. That's where the new edited CDs are going to be. The rest you can leave. Now, one more thing we need to do here. So we've done the file naming. We need to add that plugin we downloaded. Simply go to plugins and open the plugin folder. Here in your plugin folder, you need to drag the plugin you have and then just double click on it or if you've got WinZip right click and click open archive you just want to open it double click on this and simply drag this folder here now once you've done that you can close off that and you need to say here make it so so anything you've done any addition you've made it's not visible here yet until we say make it so now now when you click an option you can see files are renamed all this is going to happen because we clicked make it so but in order to make sure the plugins work and we need to click off and open up the music brains file again this time when we go to the options and we look at the plugins the file naming is fixed so that's good the plugins if you scroll down this is the plugin we added and at the moment it says it's disabled so we need to click that and it's enabled once again you need to do make it so and also best thing is to close out so we're going to open it again and that is basically your setup finished so that's the major part of setting up now let's look at the folders that we're going to edit and I have here six types of edit that we're going to do here are my folders as you can see and I've just copied them here in order to explain them better in these two I have no genre within the file system what I mean by that is if we look at the first one now it looks like all the titles are there but genre is missing you just simply right click on any space we can see we have album artist which is missing on some others but genre is missing and also you can show the year genre is missing on these two so we're going to fix that with these two files because we have the genre plugin now with number two as you can see here there's no album artist on the first one you can see there's contributing artist and album artist you do need both otherwise they may get lost on your phone as you can see here if I click album artist it's blank however genre is on this as is the year so using this software that will fix that in no time the third one is missing covers so we're going to fix the fact that on this album if we double click there's actually no cover there so what we need to do is it's the same with the luminaires if I double click there's no cover there while with rainbow uh, there is a cover but it is actually a Japanese cover which I don't want so I'm going to try and change this cover for a better one also I don't like the titles that we're going to change that there now in number four we're going to change the tag names because if we look at the Bee Gees if you look at the name it's like number two Bee Gees New York it's a bit long all I want is this title and the number to be in the name 
and that will be fixed using Picard. In number five, which is a Bjork album, there is no information whatsoever. Sometimes you might have a file like this where you have a little bit of information but not enough and we're going to show you how to get the correct tag because sometimes it will give you the wrong album. There'll be 15 tracks instead of 12 and I'll show you how to choose the right album. And finally, I have this MP3 which I copied from YouTube. It's actually from Conan O'Brien and it's the Disturbed singing Sound of Silence. Very nice track and we're going to show you how to get the details for that as well. Let's start with number one. So with the music brains open, all we do is highlight the two albums and drag them into this area here. The first thing we do is click on where it says unclustered. You remember there's two folders here, clusters and unclustered, and simply click cluster. Now they are in the cluster folder and it has identified these albums. And the next thing most people get you to do is click on clusters and say look up. But the best thing is just click scan. It's the easiest thing to do. So it's looking on the internet for the information we need. Remember this is going to add genre to the titles. So Doomsday was found as is taller. So if we look now we can see there's one item that wasn't found. It says 11 of 13. Now if I look at my album in my Music Brain CD I've actually only got 11 tracks so this one really isn't the one I want and what you can do is you can right click and look for other versions and it will show you other versions and as you can see this one was ticked with 13 but we can tick the one with 11 and now it looks up that information just give it a little while and you can see now we have the correct version the one with 11 tracks not 13 this is very useful and if we look at taller there's 10 of 10 it's perfect if we look down here you can see the genre as you can see it was empty before now it's got the name in there the left side is the original values that's the information we had the right side is the new values so you can see we get a lot of information the record company the year it was made etc and all we have to do is highlight them both and click save once I do this they are going to disappear from here and arrive into my new fixed CD area. So let's do that now. And as you can see, Bastille has the genre there. And I'll show you in a later video or later on where we edit the genre tags to be the same. Because this is one thing that this software can't do. And that's why we need MP3 tag. So let's go back to our CDs here, our Music Brain CDs. So the no genre one has been completed. We've done that one and we can get rid of it. Now in the second one, we're going to add an album artist. As you can see, there is no album artist here. So first thing we need to do is remove these. They're only removed from Picard, they're not removed from your computer. Let's go back to our music files and we'll drag both of these in as well. We'll click on unclustered and click on cluster. Then on clusters we'll click scan.
and you have to wait a while while the internet does its job. As you can see, there is 12 of 12, so we know that this is a good album to have, as is this one where it says 16 of 16. So we just check in case any tracks have been missed out or there are some tracks missing. So this is good. All we have to do is click save. So highlight them first. Let's open my music files fixed and click on save. And there you can see they have arrived. Let's check if the artist is there now. So that was your know, stronger than you know, that was Stereophonics. And now we have the album artist, which we didn't have before. And that also goes for James Morrison. We have check album artist, because remember that can be detrimental to where it goes on your iPhone or Android phone. So next we're going to delete this and we're going to fix the cover, fix cover of Snow Patrol. Now we'll do these individually. There's three of them. So with the Snow Patrol, it was an EP. Let's just drag that in there. And again, cluster. Once it's clustered, click scan. Now it seems to have found it, but there is no picture. So what we can do is we can right click and look up in browser. Well, we can also check other versions, but there is no other version. So let's look up in browser. And that will take us to the music brain's heart. Uh, there's only one more version of this. So there's no picture as you can see. So there's nothing I can take from here. But what we can do is we can type in the name of the CD. So if the name is Snow Patrol EP2, we'll right click, copy that and put it in the search bar. Here go to images and we found it here. So let's click on that. Then we simply right click, save image as, and let's save it to our music file area. Let's save it here as EP2. We'll simply go back to the file and we could easily just drag it on the top here. So let's go to our music file. There is the cover and I'm simply going to just drag it on the top here. As you can see, it's in the file. I simply click on the album and Let's go to the music area again. And now we click save. Let's open Snow Patrol. It has all the necessary tags, but let's see if the picture comes out. And there it is with the image in place. Excellent. And our next one is going to be, let's have a look, the next one we're going to do is to fix the cover of the Luminaires. Now this cover is actually on the website, so let's drag it in, unclustered, add to cluster, click on cluster and scan. And there it is. Uh, everything's done nicely. And we have an image as well. So there are other versions. So if we had 
Let's say this version, there is no image. Well, we'll see if there's an image. Let's let it load first. Because I remember doing this before and there was no image. Okay, so imagine this one had no image. What we can do is, we can right click, look up in browser, and there are five other available. So we can click on this, and let's click on, well you have an image here, we could just simply copy if we wanted to. Let's see which one has the 13, this one. Let's have a look, if we double click on that, there's no image. So let's just go back to the five versions. And what we can do is just simply click on this picture, right click, save image as, I'll put luminaires, L-U-M, and click save. Now I go to the music file area, let's open the music brains, and we can drag it onto this album. There's a luminaire picture, drag it on top, and click save. Before we save, I'm going to open my folder so you can see it being saved. Click on this, save. There's the luminaires. Let's play something. And there it is with a picture. Okay, so let's look at what we've done. We've done one, two, three. We've done the luminaires. Now we need to fix the rainbow covers. Now this is a cool task. So this is all my favorite rainbow albums. So what I'm going to do is fix the cover and the genre. Remember, these for some reason have been given all different genres and I want them to have the same genre. So let's drag all the albums, put them in here, unclustered, click on cluster, click on the clusters and simply press scan. Okay, this is good it happens because sometimes if you notice the numbers like this is seven of eight. So whereas this one is one of 22. So this one actually has the missing track, Rainbow Eyes. If I move down here, if I can move this down, you can see Rainbow Eyes is there. That's the only missing track from here. So what I can do is simply drag that into there and now I have rainbow eyes and I don't need this one which I can remove. You'll notice some of the others like down to earth. 8 of 22? There's only, I've only got 8 tracks. So what I need to do is, like with the other one, right click and see if there's one with 8 tracks. There we go. Let's see if we can find a CD one. A British a CD, eight tracks. Let's watch that change. The thing is, I don't like the album cover with the Japanese flag on it. So what I can do, again, look up in browser. It'll take me to the internet. And I'll just take a picture from here. Let's have a look. There are nine other available, so let's click on that. And I don't like this cover here, it's too bright. Let's click on another one. Let's click on CD British. There, that one is much nicer. So I'm just going to right click and save image as and see how good that image is. So it's rainbow down to earth. I'll just put DTE. Okay, so I want to look at that one. 
That's good. Not too small, not too big, perfect. Let's have a look at the size of it. It's 50 kilobytes. That's very good. So I'm going to use that one. Go back to my music brains. Click on the album. Make sure I click on the album and drag that on the top. And as you can see, it says that's going to be the new cover art and that's the original. So that one I can save. Let's look at the next one. Now here, I've got new cover art, which is going to be good. But there's a track missing, Kill the King. And that's actually over here. So I can just simply drag that across. There it is. That one's done. This one has a good album cover. I'll keep that. This one has two album covers. I don't like either. Well, that doesn't seem to be any different. So let's go to the browser. And we'll click on a CD here. In fact, that one there is good enough. I'm just going to click on that. Right click, save image as. I'll put eyes. And then I just need to go here where it says eyes and drag that on. And that will be our new cover. So that's good enough. Any more? Rising. The new cover is going to copy that. That's good. And this one is fine. So now I'm just going to copy all of these as they are. I just want to show you why I did this. And it's because when I look at the rainbow tags, they've got like the album, side A, side B, side C, side D. This was a full LP album. I don't want it to have that information look. So let's look how it's going to change now once it's fixed. Highlight these, save. You can see it's doing it here and they're all done. I go in here and you can see rainbow, then all the albums. Where was the eyes one? Let's have a look at the eyes straight between the eyes. Just click on it. Yep. That's good enough. Now, one more thing about this. Remember I talked about genres. And as you can see here, look, it's got hard rock, classic rock, lots of different genres. And this is throughout the albums. They've all got a different genre, yet it's the same band. So what I want to do is change all of these to one genre. And the best way to do that is through MP3 tag. So I'm just going to show you where that is and we're going to do that very quickly. So here's the web page for MP3 tag and you simply download this. I do have another video I made about how to use this properly. You can look at that on my link. Simply download this. and click save. MP3 tag has been saved on my downloads folder. So I'm just going to install that. Now you can have a portable version. I'm going to have the normal version. And yes, yes, yes. You can donate money if you wish. I'll just click next and finish. So let's open the MP3 tag. Here it is. 
Like I say, I have made a video of this in depth, but all we're going to do is change the genre to be the same for each album. So here are my rainbow albums. I'm just going to drag in the rainbow albums. You can see all the tags look lovely. Now all you have to do is click on the first one and then click Control A to highlight them all and choose one genre. As you can see the artist is good and the tags are good but the genre is different for each one. I want them to have the same genre. Also, I want to get rid of these comments. I don't know why people have comments there. So for comments, which they do have, I'm going to get rid of them all and have blank. And then for genre, I'm going to choose, uh, let's say classic rock. Where is it? Classic rock. And what you have to do is click save and then watch them all change. Excellent. Got rid of the comments. Everybody's classic rock. And now, if we go to my folder, click on rainbow, you can see that everybody has that genre, classic rock. So, that is number three of three done. Now, we're just going to change the name tags of the Bee Gees and the name tags of Rush. A very, very easy task. So let's do number four now. So here's the Bee Gees. I've just decided I'm going to do the Bee Gees. I'm not going to do Rush. That will make the video too long. Rush is very similar to the rainbow tagging. So I've got clusters. Press cluster. Click on clusters. Click on scan and see what happens. So as you can see, I've got 20 of 21 here because the other one went into Greatest Hits album, which is here. And what I can do is simply drag it into here and there it is. So there's my 21 of 20 and all I have to do is click save. Now watch these tags change. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the album and click save. And there you can see the Bee Gees has been created. And if we check the name files, they are now the number plus the title and not as they were before. If we take a quick look. these long name files so we've got rid of that so that's really good just go back again and have a look so there they are name files are fixed for the fifth one we're going to add all the tags to the Bjork debut album so if we look at our Bjork debut album here it is there's no tags and what we'll have to do is let's highlight this and remove this and we're going to drag in this album. Now we click on cluster, click on the cluster box, click up scan. Now it's loaded the album but it's not given us any feedback. So what we can do is highlight one of the uh, let's say famous tracks right click and look up in browser. Now because we know it's a Bjork debut album, here we have some ideas. All these say Bjork, some say Sneaker Pimps, whoever they are, but we know it's Bjork. So let's click on Bjork and we know it's the debut album, so we'll click on debut. And now we get a few choices. Let's find out how many tracks we have. We have 12 tracks. On here, 
there are 11 in this CD. We want this CD with 12 tracks. Let's choose the British version. And we have a picture as well. And what we do to transfer these tracks is go back to Music Brains and simply click on this tagger file. So we can click on this, click on, it doesn't matter where we click, we can click in the open space. Click on tagger and you can see it's loading the tag. So once that tag has been loaded, we can drag those files in. So let's just wait a few minutes for that to happen. Okay, so as you can see, the files have been tagged in. That was some other version. So this is the album we want. Let's check all of them are there. And what we simply do is because this is not the one we want, we can simply drag this file over the top of that and all those MP3s will go into this album and all the tags have been made. We simply have to save this. So let's go to our file and watch it be saved. Click on debut, save. And there Bjork has been made and let's open the file and check everything's there album artist Bjork genre alternative and year 1993 so that's one way you can get tags if you don't have any tags whatsoever or you just have some album names so let's clear this and prepare for our final item. In this we're going to take a track I copied from YouTube using a browser called Torch, very useful browser. You can copy mp3s or videos from YouTube and obviously there wasn't much data with it. So let's see if we can find the data of a simple YouTube track from a live show. So let's just open Music Brains We'll go to where the track is. Here it is, Disturbed. That's the name of the band, not the song. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, scan for it. Now we have our song here and what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the actual album it thinks it's in right click and just browse look up in browser now can't see it here but there are three other versions of this song click on that and look here we've got the sound of silence live on conan and we simply click on this and then what i want to do is add this tag information to my music brains so i'll click on the tag and watch the album load up. There's the album with the information and all I have to do is simply drag this file which is the song into here and now it's there. So we've got the folder open let's highlight the album and everything and click Save. And now you can see Disturbed has a folder the sound of silence and there is all our tagging information the genre the year perfect and if we just give a double click on that please welcome disturb so that's from the conan and i've got a great tagging system for that how wonderful is that so that's all we ever need to know how to do so we've done no genre, no album, fixed covers, changed the name tags, we've added tags where there's nothing, and we've tagged a mp3 from a YouTube channel. I hope you've enjoyed watching this 
program and you've learned a lot, any questions just write in and I'll try and answer them. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.